Hello, my name is Jingo Nelly, and today we are going to be looking at another tutorial. But before I begin off, make sure you subscribe to the channel. It will bring you some good luck in your forthcoming exams. The EPM, we had ended on product development. And uh, with product development, this is a process of developing the product concept into a physical product in order to ensure that the product idea can be turned into a workable uh, product to be accepted by the customers so with this it looks at uh, somebody coming up with an idea and that idea is turned into a concept and it's from that uh, concept that uh, we get to produce a physical product that is to do with uh, product development then uh, with the, uh, looking at the product itself because uh, from uh, product development the product uh, uh, gets to be introduced to the market uh, modified and then later it's dropped uh, basically looking at what happens using the uh, product life cycle and uh, with the product development it like it's having a uh, parts like parts of a product yeah? it gets to have uh, parts of a product whereby you, you we get to have the core for example if at all we're having a, a product called uh, toothpaste so if i look we are if I, we are to look at toothpaste as a product the paste inside which is the core uh it's what i'm talking about here with the core and i can define it by saying uh it is the benefit of the product that makes it valuable to you so the paste inside here yeah, that toothpaste is the core then um we are having the actual um the yeah the actual product now with actual product this is the tangible or physical product iggy the toothpaste you buy which includes the paste uh the paste inside and also the cover of the toothpaste that is the actual product then uh, we're having the adjumented product now this one deals with the intangible component of the product for example the after sales yeah so that is to do with that uh, moving on to stages moving on to the stages of product uh, development and also the concept uh, the concept development and testing uh, with the concept development and testing we are having number one whereby we are having develop product ideas into alternative product concepts now here it deals with making so many prototypes which you can uh, choose from then we are having uh, concept testing test the product concepts with the uh, groups of target customers here giving it to the maybe target customers when you're testing it like maybe some customers and like over sample then uh, after that you get to choose uh, the best one from the many alternatives that is to do with concept development and testing now with this uh with the product development in class we are given an example of a condom so the lecture was like uh if at all we are to look at uh we uh we are if we are to look at uh a product such as a condom we are going to be having uh uh the needs identification so what is the need identif identification here it's to see if uh, uh the, like uh if at all they want to prevent uh diseases like they want to be uh, pre uh, prevent H hiv the diseases and even uh, no pregnancy so that is uh the need identification that's the need identification prevent the diseases uh each other like sexually transmitted diseases and also uh to prevent pregnancies unnecessary pregnancies so here after knowing that that is to do with need identification and here uh, looking at it in details it deals with the research research of new product ideas by developing so uh by developing many so as to choose from the best alternative which uh, can uh, meet customer requirements now the lecture was like here yeah, they get to look at uh, the alternatives different products to do de to develop remember we had to develop like a condom 
and uh, we are they get to bring out prototypes of uh, wood metal rubber that's what the lecturer hint on and uh, you after knowing those uh, those prototypes you're going to be using uh, you look at uh, ne next will be the advanced the advanced product planning looking at the advanced product planning now this deals with uh, market analysis for the sales and costs that may occur it also looks at uh, estimating requirements for producing and distributing so here uh, we look we look at uh, where like an idea is developed into a concept now a concept can be like a plan so you must get to know uh, the key elements here with need I needs identification the elements was to uh, you create something that is going to meet customer requirements and here and uh, the business uh, the idea is developed into a concept here yeah? by looking at the sales uh, the product will be making that's the condom and even the costs it will uh, uh, cost you to buy the different uh the to buy the wood the metal the rubber such in order to make it so moving on to advanced uh, designing stage it's very critical uh, so at this stage the be uh, basic and applied researchers are undertaken to investigate technical feasibility so they get to see which one is uh, best fit so alternative product designs the product designs we're having we're having uh, um, wood rubber metal so uh, evaluated to find out the best designing systems that can uh, suit the process of transforming the product idea or concept to the real acceptable product so here we are going to look at uh, uh, the two uh, the two what we are going to look at the two product designs that is wood and metal so we are going to exclude the two because uh, research can show that the wood won't be best appropriate you get and even the metal it won't be best appropriate because of certain features they they are having it will it may have the pattern and stuff so they find out that rubber would work best because it's smooth and stuff so uh meaning that here uh the product uh the product design which is best fit is the one which is uh taken up so uh it brings us to the detailed engineering design now the detailed engineering design so at this stage uh, a series of engineering uh, activities or oh, it looks at a series of engineering activities to develop a product looking at the size yeah? the size uh, shape color and so on so here you look at the size shape color of the condom that you, you're going to be what using so uh with this further on it also looks at um the the, the it also looks at if uh, there is the there is also designed for fun for the function like to ensure that uh, the product can perform as intended then uh, designed for reliability so that the product is uh, available for use with minimum prospects of failure then designed for maintainability to provide accessibility for economic maintenance of the product then um, designed for safety uh, to ensure minimum operating hazards to to the user and the and the environment then we have in design for pro procedability uh, to ensure that the product can be produced at the intended costs and volumes then uh, that takes us to product uh, process design the process designing and development production process uh, uh, designing and development uh, this is where the the product like this it deals with developing or doing the real product now this is where at this stage this is where the economy will be made so it will look at the 
uh, it will look at uh, a situation where by given the detailed product design and uh, production system in place uh, engineers and manufacturing specialists would prepare plans for materials uh, production warehousing transportation and distribution uh, there is also planning for production and control uh, systems uh, information technology system human resource technology. so here they add up all this so that they can make the product so moving on to product evaluation and implement and uh, and uh, improvement improvement yeah product evaluation and improvement product evaluation and improvement so this looks at uh, it may look at uh, first of all just knowing it from the surface a situation whereby uh, it's uh, the product is already with the customers so when it's with the customers uh, uh, and they have used it and they need improvement because of the way it was smell like maybe the product they have made the economy is not smelling good so they need adjustments in that so they get to develop uh, different uh, economies of uh, the one having uh, vanilla chocolate so that they can bring that nice scent so that is that is with that so with the product evaluation and improvement looks at this is uh concerned with uh monitoring of product success or failure uh, the product is evaluated for possible improvement and uh, field performance and uh, failure data so for formal research and evaluation programs are used to monitor analyze report and redesign the product so from that um, complaint from the uh, customers who get to use it the scent is not all that good though. it uh, enables them to come in and uh, produce something which is having some nice scent like vanilla chocolate so that's with that the product evaluation and, and improvement so now I'm looking at uh, product use and support product use and support here it looks at how we are going to use the condom so this stage considers the support for the product uh, after it is in the hands of the customer so here a customer is shown how uh, the product is going to be used that is educating the users on specific application of the products then uh, provide uh, also looks at uh, providing warranty and repair services to the uh, users of the product that is to do with another maybe product which can be prepared then uh, upgrading the product with the uh, new designing uh, the designing improvement so that is that will be the end but uh, you can look at other products that you may hint on so basically when you're answering this this question make sure at least you're having different products you can uh, hint on and they can uh, at least go through all these stages to enable you to enable you give uh, proper examples that that will be the that that is to do with the stages of product development then next we shall be looking at the product process technologies thank you so much for watching make sure you subscribe to the channel